question was, how do we get the navigation in Editor X to have go from transparency to have a solid background? And this is actually a really simple use of what is called a scroll effect inside of our menus. So if we actually go to, we select our menu section, and we go to the layout portion of our inspector, and we scroll down to scroll effects, and we turn on the toggle that is called transition. And so when we decide to move, this is what this transition says, it says move or fade. If we move down or in any direction, we give we are able to give certain directives or apply some properties to the menu based on the direction we want to move or even fade it to. So currently what we have, if we preview this, if we scroll, you guys can see that it goes from a plain white, fades a little bit, and then it fades back to white. So what we're going to change this a little bit. So we're going to click on the section here. We're going to go back down to our scroll effects. We're going to go back to move. We're actually going to go to fade very quickly. And we are going to set this to white. Okay. I'm also going to go to the design here. And I'm going to make sure that the background is zero on our navigation. So we want to be able to. And also I'm going to go to my background here as well. And what I want to do. Let's see because I want this background or this menu to overlap the next section. Here we go, boom. So now we have our navigation over top of our background section. And when we go to preview, we have a translucent navigation. And when I scroll down, it becomes solid. And now I can change this to any color. So if I decide to go back to header, inspector, let's say I want to turn this to green. I'm just going to change it to green so that when we scroll down, it will turn to green. So I'm going to preview, boom, it is transparent when I scroll down it's now green so that is a very simple answer if you guys want to create any other navigation scrolling transitions this is how you do it all of those options are here for us making sure that our header is selected is within the scroll effects and we can either have it fade and or move so with that said I hope this answers your question if this was helpful do not forget to join our discord and also like this video on YouTube and subscribe. So thank you so much for watching and talk to you soon.